we're we're taking some video out here to talk about South Padre and look at Ryan. <laughs> He's FaceTiming his mom. right before we went full-time that my dad had cancer, liver cancer. So that was always, it's been a really heavy burden on me even as we travel and I'm trying to, you know, get into this full-time thing and enjoy all the things that we're doing, but it's been really hard. So I found out about a week and a half ago, he took a turn for the worse. So I flew to Oregon to be with him and I got to be with him till take care of him. And that was such a blessing. It gave me so much peace and to know that he's in heaven and not in pain anymore and suffering, but he's, he's in heaven singing and playing his guitar. So anyway, I get to come out here today. It's his birthday today. I'm gonna get to come out here and I'm gonna do some writing and just kind of be alone and spend some time listening to the ocean and walking around out here. So I'm hoping that the peace that I feel will just keep carrying me forward. I'm super blessed that I get to be here and breathe in this ocean air. It's so pretty out here. really cold weather here at South Padre several times on our trip and there's a place called Turtle Inc here which we have not toured yet and I want to and they rescue sea turtles and rehabilitate them anyway the water got really cold so they were getting washed up to the shore and they were rescued so today we're going to watch them release them and we didn't realize there's gonna be a ton of people so we parked a half a mile down the road and now we got to race with everyone up to go see it I'm really excited about it though like one of the coolest things I've ever seen before. I think they had 77 turtles they just released into the Gulf of Mexico and it, it was so cool. It was, it was amazing. I don't know how many people were out here but there was a lot of people and we're kind of all fighting for our spots and I was not gonna stand in the very back. I really wanted to see it so I, we kind of wrapped around the water. We all had to move back a little bit but I had I tore my shoes off and I was out there. I was didn't care about the waves coming in, the tides coming in and wow, I just, anyway, I had my feet in the sand. That was such a cool experience. I don't care how wet my pants are, <laughs> and I don't care how sandy my feet are, that now I have to try to figure out how to walk back, so cool experience. We're on our way to SpaceX right now. It's about maybe a 40 minute drive from South Padre where we've been staying. Don't know much about it, except that's where they're launching satellites. Elon Musk is launching, launching satellites well, from there. Well, does he launch the satellites there, or is he launching just rockets there because like it could be rockets see that's the thing see? is we don't know anything about it but what we do know is that people have watched launches yeah. from the rv park that we're at yes but we not us because this is we're not, not an educational video no and our, our timing is not right so we don't get to watch launches no, we, we just get to see it in the distance most of them are being launched in florida but there have been some here and we were hoping we could watch one from our beach but that's just not happening so we're gonna head out and we heard it's really cool just to kind of go look at it. They have some rockets out there we can check out. So it's not the prettiest day. We didn't definitely didn't pick no, the prettiest ugly. day. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. A neat statue someone brought over here, someone made. The guy who's driving the truck actually made that. That's incredible. on walking down that little road there. I don't know if that's okay or not, but I guess we'll find out. If he gets in trouble, then if he gets kicked out, I guess we'll know we can't. I don't know. He's getting pretty far. Okay, so we're back in Starbase. And look at, look at that. 
Isn't that cool? You could get right back up here to the rockets, but I, I'm not sure what's better, getting back up here to the rockets or actually flipping around here to the other side where they're building the towers and seeing the Airstreams right here. It's actually called Airstream Park. It's where the engineers stay. And see the little starlings out here so that they could, they could get their internet. I mean, how cool is that? Come on. So you could get back here. We didn't know that. There's the road that leads back to the rockets is actually a public easement road. So you could come all the way back here. There's a little parking spot back here. Our truck's out on the street. So you could walk back here and get right up here I to these rockets. You could walk back here. Yeah. We didn't know this, and so we were gonna stay outside of here, but you got brave, you always do that. So Ryan, he just walked down a road. I don't think he's supposed to walk down that road, but he always makes friends and talks to people and gets some pretty um, unusually close photos and experiences of talking to people. He's way up there, I don't know if you can see, zoom in, but I don't even, I don't know. So look how close we are. Now we're back here in the action. We can watch these guys over here welding. We can watch the, the police right here guarding <laughs> the rockets. And then Airstream Park. Yeah. Yeah, we're just walking. <laughs> you know, with some rockets in the background. That's a pretty cool backdrop, isn't it? Some rockets really in the background. Cool it's crazy how all this stuff is built so close to like public roads that you can access it because this road right here is right next to the launch site. So right there is the rocket, there's the booster that's there. And I mean, that's right where they launch it. And apparently, I guess later that booster comes down and that thing grabs it and they reuse the booster. I'm just saying what other people have told us. But this road right here is actually the road that leads out to Boca Chica Beach. So this is a heavily used road to get out to the beach. So we're currently using Starlink, but Starlink Premium has just been released. And here at Starbase, they're testing with the newer dishes, but we found that their the new dishes are just a little bit, a little bit bigger. You got a horn. Wait, wait, are, are you still here? We're gonna go for a bike ride. Sarah's gonna crash in the sand. It's the first time we've ridden our bikes in the sand. Look at the view behind us, look at this. Look, look at how pretty this is. I wish it was like this every day. We've had so much bad weather. It's pretty much bad weather with a really nice day, which is today. We're gonna to take our e-bikes and ride as far as we can. I don't wanna ride as far as we can. We're gonna ride <laughs> that way. We're gonna ride down the coastline a little bit. We can't ride that way because it's a jetty. There's a lot of people on today. Yeah, you're right. Driving on the beach. How cool is this? Now, I did chicken out. We first came down to the beach access. We found the exit and I pulled up to it and I was like, uh-uh, we ain't gonna do it. So we drove down, came to a dead end, and then we went back. I mean, we saw all kinds of cars. We saw F-150s out here. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So we just plowed on through it. It was no big deal. And then once you get out here, it's pretty, it's pretty packed. It's pretty easy to drive on. Yeah, it was just chicken. But how cool is this? Look at this. Seven miles. I can't believe it was seven miles. Overall, the bikes did pretty good for the sand, but there was a couple spots because the tide's coming in. You know, though, with e-bikes, it's kind of cheating because... But you had it on the second. I only had it on the first one, so, I mean, I was pretty much riding. <laughs> it is kind of a cheating way. Whose idea was it to have e-bikes? That was such a You're good idea. You're the instigator of all the fun. He, somebody, he's the fun one. Somebody's so smart. You are. He, you always... I didn't want the e-bikes. I thought, oh, we can wait on that, but I'm glad we got them. Somebody is Who the fun one. Who instigated the kayaks? the drone down before the wind got here. Look at this, let's take it over. Look at that cloud. 
it's crazy because it was really calm out here. There was no movement. Okay, South Padre, that's a wrap. We'll see you next time.